Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a couple of interesting features of Wolfram Alpha for social studies teachers. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So Wolfram Alpha is generally known as more of a math and science tool that has these step-by-step -step solutions to math problems and does conversions and all kinds of neat things like that. But it's also really useful for social studies teachers. So let's say I want to get some information about George Washington. So just type in George Washington, and it's going to give me this basic information fact sheet. And I might print this off if I wanted to have it handy, but I really like this because it puts all of the key data about George Washington on one page for students to scroll through. One of my favorite little features is down here at the bottom, there's this little graph of Wikipedia hits for that term. And the graph, as you can see here, starts in 2008 and runs through today, 2021. And we have all these peaks and valleys in the traffic for that term to Wikipedia. Now, let's say we want to do a comparison of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Well, now I just put the two names next to each other. I separated them with a comma, as you can see there. And now I have side-by-side -side comparisons of the two, little pictures of them, when they're in office, key data about their lives. Do their lives overlap? No, they do not. Right, their height. And again, we have this graph of Wikipedia hits throughout 2008 to 2021. And one of the things that I like to do with this little Wikipedia graph is ask students if they can make any correlations between the spikes for these search terms and what was happening in the world at the time. Like, did a new movie come out? Was it an anniversary of something? Those are good questions to have students investigate when they're looking at these little graphs. So those are a couple of neat little features of Wolfram Alpha for social studies teachers. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.